Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a really wonderful day thus far. And so in this video, of course, we're going to be looking at what is currently going on for the Caribbean and what is expected as we head into the next uh, 24 hours or so. And then we'll also be looking at a new prediction out from this hurricane uh, for this hurricane season. And this time it is from the weather company. So we're going to be taking a look at what they're anticipating for this upcoming season and so before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update all right and so let's go ahead and kickstart things with what is going on for the caribbean so we're looking at the uh infrared satellites and we can see here that as usual there isn't much activity taking place right now uh there are a lot of dry conditions that are helping to inhibit the development of any major convective activity so that is the reason things are how they are now and i know some persons in some areas have been longing for some rainfall activity the gfs is showing a bit of increased rainfall particularly for the eastern caribbean but of of course we have to wait and see what will eventually happen but of course i'm going to be keeping you updated on all that is expected as time goes by now in terms of the gulf low so this uh has moved inland that low pressure center has moved inland and we can see that majority of the activity lies to the north of the center of it and uh, it is affecting parts of the southeastern u.s at the moment we see louisiana mississippi alabama arkansas even going into georgia we see some activity in the panhandle of florida so guys uh from this point onwards this system is only going to be dissipating but of course remember that there is still that increase increased rainfall activity that is uh, likely once the system is going to continue to make its way through the area. Now in terms of the rainfall totals expected for the Caribbean, so we'll be looking at three models uh, the GFS, Euro, and Icon. So let's start out with the GFS. And so uh, in terms of this map here, the more colorful it gets, the more rainfall activity is likely. And then of course we have the values over to the right side of the screen with the different colors beside them. So you know how much rainfall those colors each represent. And it is measured in inches. And so, of course, in terms of that rainfall activity that the GFS is expecting between now and tomorrow morning uh, for the Caribbean, we can see here that the model is showing most of the rainfall for the Caribbean islands being uh, in the vicinity of Western Cuba, as well as parts of Jamaica and Hispaniola, even into Puerto Rico as well. But we see a lot of activity uh, down in Colombia down there. So uh, for the Northwestern Caribbean, we're not seeing too much rainfall expected, especially for Yucatan, Belize, uh, and going over into other countries, not seeing much expected for the Cayman Islands either. So not much rainfall activity anticipated as we head into the next day. The icon is showing less rainfall activity than the GFS. Uh, we can see that there is very little rainfall that is expected for majority of the areas. And then of course, the Euro is sort of in agreement with this and showing a bit more activity Activity for some parts of the Greater Antilles so uh, maybe a little bit more rainfall in some areas but overall not much rainfall activity is expected through tomorrow so uh, that is going to be the general trend for a while but of course if there's anything major I'm going to be keeping you updated and so now we want to go ahead and move on to that newest prediction for this Atlantic hurricane season which is from the weather company so they released their prediction uh, not so long from when I started this update video and so from this we can see that they have the totals for 2022 which was last year of course and then the average number of storms hurricanes and majors so the average number of storms between 1991 and 2020 is 14 of which seven usually become hurricanes and at least three major hurricanes this uh, these numbers here are what are considered average and then last year we saw near average activity 14 named storms eight hurricanes and only two major hurricanes so it was pretty much a uh, sort of below average near average season last year and for this year the weather company is only expecting one more named storm than average but expecting seven hurricanes and 
three major hurricanes. So, so far, most predictions have been calling for that average or below average season due to that anticipated El Nino development. The only prediction I've seen where uh, an active season is expected, a really active season is from the University of Arizona, which predicted 19 named storms. So uh, that is quite interesting. And the reason for that is because of the very warm sea surface temperatures. So ocean temperatures are already above average. And once that is going to be continuing, then it is most likely that we're going to be seeing uh, that's really helped to boost tropical cyclone activity. Though there is that uh, expected El Nino that would help to counteract tropical cyclone activity. But that is the latest prediction on what is expected, guys. And of course, later this morning, the Colorado State University is going to be releasing their prediction for this hurricane season. And I will be including what they are expecting in tomorrow's update video. So stay tuned for that. And so that is pretty much it for right now. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.